We can create a multi-gas microsensor that can detect eight different gases in the same time. Hey, it's Amy with IP Exchange. We're at the Vox Sense booth. Obviously, I posted about them shortly before the show, but now we're here. Um, I'm with Bram. He's going to show us a live demo of um, their sensor board in action. So, uh, Bram, what's going on here? Yeah, okay, so we are showcasing our multi gauss microsensor here. So, basically, we have made this uh, small chip here that, we, that has 16 sensing elements on one uh, microsensor. So, so for every sensing element, we have a different sensing material that will react with the gas. So by that, we can create a multi-gas microsensor that can detect uh, eight different gases in the same time. Nice. So here we are uh, doing an ammonia demo. So we are doing the measurement of around uh, 10 ppm of uh, ammonia. Yeah, so uh, just shortly before the demo, there's a, there's a little bottle of ammonia out of shot, uh, <laughs> but it was held in front of the sensor and um, that massive spike occurred. Uh, so yeah, very sensitive. Um, uh, what applications do you uh, see this being used in, do you think? Yeah. So we have three type of applications. So the first one is for uh, indoor air quality. So everything that has to do with uh, smart building, uh, so steering your ventilation, when the air quality is bad. Uh, other applications are more industrial, so leakage, uh, environmental monitoring in petrochemical sites. And of course, in Flanders and the Netherlands, we have a lot of talks about uh, ammonia emissions mm. in agricultural farms like pig farms, poultry farms, and cattle farms. Cool, so quite a wide, wide range of applications. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. Um, so I'm guessing these are evaluation boards. Yep. Uh, what's the difference between the two? Yeah. So here you can actually, this one is more to evaluate the technology. Okay. So it's, it's the same sensing element that mm -hmm. is on the microchip. But here you have more flexibility as we can do the packaging in-house at our okay. site. So we don't have to go to the full production flow. Cool. And when we are yeah, getting new sensing materials mm -hmm. out and new gases out that we can test, we can simply remove the chip and put in a new chip. Cool. So by that you can follow our developments. Excellent. On this one you are more testing the full chip, so it's okay. a basic evaluation kit of the when you are really into designing and cool. you want to start your development, you can use this kit together excellent. with the software and you can it's working right out of the box. Oh, excellent. So, uh, so just plug in and play. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, always good to talk to Bram and Voxsense. Um, really glad to have got this um, got this video this week. Um, but um, all in all, Bram, third day of the show. How have you found this week? <laughs> yeah, it has been very good, very crowdy, good, good contacts. So uh, the right people are here at uh, Sensor Plus Test to talk about our uh, guest microsensor. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Well, uh, we look forward, very forward to seeing how how this all progresses and. Um, catch you at um, the next show. Yeah, cool. me too. Thanks for stopping back. Yeah, no <laughs> worries. Thank you. So it was really good to catch up with VoxSense. We talked to Bram before and uh, followed him on this amazing journey and the VoxSense team with uh, creating their NVCam sensor. It was really, really cool to see it in action and actually see it in the flesh because that's that's a pretty recent innovation and uh, development. Learn more on our rather old boards page from when we first wrote about them, but uh, nevertheless still very relevant. And uh, get that jammed into a battery powered IoT application.